Volio here again. What we're going to do now is a smothered rabbit po' boy. I've been making for quite a while now. And first of all, you got to sort out the bacon. I think the world revolves around bacon. So you get it kind of hot. Not too hot because you don't want it to stick and burn right off the bat. Because it's going to run it down. Bacon's a wonderful thing. And what we, while that's rendering, what we got here is we got rabbit meat that I seasoned overnight. A little bit cubed up pork. A little fat on it to give it some kind of texture. So we got meat magic, krill seasoning, and onions, and chicken stock. Pretty, pretty simple recipe, but it just takes a long time to get where you need to be at with it. We're going to put the top on here for a second. Let the heat stay up in there so we can render it down. Alright, let's check our bacon out. Ah, it's looking tight. Turn the fire off for a minute. Because we don't want it to burn, so we turn it the other way. Pretty good bit of bacon. Because everybody passes by and you can grab some out of it. So you got to make sure you do more. So you have a little bit left over. Put that to the side. And now we're going to add the rabbit. We got the front legs in there too. Because the front legs are going to give a little bit extra flavor with the bone. We're doing pork. Not quite all that. Now we got it. Make sure it starts browning up a little bit. We put the cover back on for a few minutes. Check it out. We're going to check the rat again. It's looking pretty tight, let me tell you that. It smells good. Alright, so I'm going to throw in onions. Good bit of onions. Rule of thumb, you always, this ain't wild game, but if you put them a wild game, it's always half and half of uh, what you're going to put in there with the onions. Now this is going to be a while, so we're going to pop the top back on and let it roll until our onions start to uh, get translucent, then they actually going to disappear. Check the rabbit again. You notice the onion is just about to disappear. So, what we do now is we're going to pour some chicken stock in it. We'll put all of it, might as well. And we're going to put the bacon. Notice they only got half the amount left, so. <clears throat> Give it some stirs here, and then let the pot do the rest of the work. Then we're gonna make a little brown gravy with it to finish it off. And that's about an hour away on that. So we'll put the top back on, turn the heat up a little bit, and let it roll. All right, here we go. Wrap it on to be about done. Look at that. We'll cut the fire off. Let's check for a little seasoning. Could use a little bit. Let's give it a good old stir. I think we're ready to plate it up. Toasted French bread right here. We're 
We're going to take a couple legs. Throw them on the edge right there. At least fire them one that ain't got the off the bone yet. Put one on the other side. And let's stop this bad boy off with some fresh coleslaw. There you got it. What a rabbit, poor boy. How's that?